if you've ever wondered why the Torah is so important, Baruch 51 is a very good explanation of why it is so important. And it starts in verse 1, it goes, And it shall come to pass, when the appointed day has gone by that, then shall the aspect of those who are condemned be afterwards changed, and the glory of those who are justified. For the aspect of those who now act wickedly shall become worse than it is, as they shall suffer torment. Also, as for the glory of those who have been justified in my Torah, who have had understanding in their life, and who have planted their hearts in the root of wisdom, then their splendor shall be glorified in changes, and the form of their face shall be turned into the light of their beauty, that they may be able to acquire and receive the world which does not die, which is then promised them. For over this, above all, those who come lay, the, then lament that they rejected my Torah and stopped their ears that they might not hear wisdom or receive understanding. When therefore they see those over whom they are now exalted, but who shall be exalted and glorified more than they, they shall respectively be transformed the, the latter into the splendor of angels, and the form shall yet more waste away in wonder at the visions and in the beholding of the forms. For they shall behold, and afterwards depart to be tormented. But those who have been saved by their works, and to whom the Torah has been a new hope and understanding and expectation a, and wisdom, a confidence shall wonder appear in their time. For they shall behold the world which is now invisible to them. They shall behold the time which is now hidden from them, and time shall no longer age them. For in the heights of that world, they dwell, and they shall be made like unto the angels, and made equal to the stars. They shall be changed into every form they desire, from beauty into loveliness, and from light into the splendor of glory. For there shall be spread before the extents of paradise, and there shall be shown them the beauty of the majesty of the living creatures, which are beneath the throne, and all the armies of the angels, who are now held by fast by my word, lest they should appear and are held fast by command, that they should stay in their places till their advent comes. Moreover, th there shall then be excellency in the righteousness, surpassing that in the angels. For the first that for the first shall receive the last, those whom they were expecting, and the last of those whom they used to hear that they had passed away. For then for they have been delivered from this world of tribulation and laid down in the burden of anguish. For what then have men lost their life, and for what have those who were on earth exchanged their soul? For then they chose not for themselves this time which beyond the reach of anguish could not pass away, but they chose for themselves that time who issues are, whose issues are full of lamentation of evil, and they denied the world which ages not to come to it. And they rejected the time of glory, so that they shall not come to the honor of which I told you before. So that was a really long chapter, but that is so important because he says those who followed my Torah are going to be put like the angels. Those who did not turn their ears away from my Torah, my commands, my laws, my statutes, my commandments, those who do not turn away shall be sent to paradise. They shall be protected. They shall be watched over. They will be higher than the angels. They will be more beautiful than the stars. But those who denied the Torah, they will be put into lamentation they will be put into great sorrow into Sheol those who denied his Torah and sold their soul for this world who chose this world over what was more important which was the Torah guys this this life is a test y'all y'all has a test for us are you going to follow his commands are you worthy of entering the next paradise obeying him and living him if you're not going to obey here, if, if you're not going to obey here, he doesn't want you in the next kingdom. He wants you, but he wants you in the way of the Torah. He wants you in his ways, the ways he has declared for us. The simplest things, nothing here is hard. He says in 1 John 5, 3, my, my commands are not hard. And so with that, I want you guys to read your Bible. If you guys can get a copy of Baruch, it's super important that you do it. It's all about the Torah, all about the commands. And it's really important. It has a lot of stuff there about the end days, a lot of stuff about his Torah and how he wants us to live. With that being said, read your Bibles. Have a good Shabbat.